I'm back. <laughs> so today I'm going to do my first ever vlog book review and I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> the book that I'm going to be reviewing is one that I did pick up in my book haul when I bought the book I knew I was on the blog tour so I wanted to read it and then go immediately into the second book and the book is doo -doo -doo -doo, Real by Katie Evans and I'd give up forever to touch you I love this card. Remington Tate is an underground fighter. Um, he meets Brooke at one of his fights. So Remington hires her to go on tour with him um, to do like sports rehab or she kind of like massages him or you know works his muscles after he's done a workout. Dude, I would have took the job. Remington is a very complicated man. The buildup between these two, it's like so perfect. And Katie Evans had me building and building in sexual tension for like the longest time. I can't even... It's so crazy to me, the way that she built uh, the characters and the sexual tension. <laughs> Reading it, you're just like, oh my god, these two just need to fucking get it over with. But there's a reason for it. I've not read a book like this in a long time where the buildup is so intense. And... um. I was just left wanting more and more and I couldn't read fast enough. It was a slow build up and it was kind of like, get there already, get there already. But then you're like, no wait, don't get there already, don't get there already because it's very intriguing because one minute he's hot, one minute he's cold and you're just kind of like, what the hell's wrong with him? Like, what the fuck? And the more that you read, and when you finally get to a certain point, and it kind of tells you why he is the way that he is, then you're like, oh shit, like it all makes sense. It all falls together. He loves that woman. And the things that he does to show her, I was like, oh my god. Seriously? <sighs> He's the epitome of what a man should be. He's an alpha and he does things that are very alpha. <laughs> and the way that he protects her and the way that he loves her, it's beyond measure. Like, I was so taken aback by what he does to show her just how much he loves her. I like the fact that the author didn't even have to have him say many things. He's a man of little words. But when he speaks, it's like there's a reason and it's not just like filler you know what I mean like it's not like oh, I just I love you do anything for you and the best thing that's ever happened to me you know what I mean he doesn't even have to the, his actions convey how he feels the looks the glances before a fight him looking over at her you know it's little things that he does and that really show how much he loves this woman another thing that I really really love about him is because he doesn't say much 
he uses music to express how he feels. I could connect with that because I don't know about you, but for me, when I wanted to tell my husband how I felt about something and I just couldn't come up with the right words to say how I felt, I found a song and it like was perfect. And I told him, listen to the song, I'm dedicating it to you, you know, that type of thing. I got that. I connected with it. I understood it. That all in itself says a lot, you know. It's, it's little things like that that made me connect with the characters, made me just genuinely love the character because he does little things. It's not big showy huge things it's little intimate details and little things that he does for her when you read the book because i really don't like to give out spoilers i hate spoilers <laughs> so i don't really want to say much but there's certain things that she does to help calm him down like it was like if she was just made for him and only him specifically both of them are learning to grow and to look at each other and just really know what love is about. I just, I seriously, I can't even tell you how much I enjoyed the book. Overall, I enjoyed the storyline. I enjoyed the buildup. I enjoyed the little things between the two characters. Um, there is drama. There is angst. There's licking and scenting. <laughs> and you're probably like, what? <laughs> but when you read it, then you'll understand. I love that Remy uses music to express how he feels. Because I feel that a lot of people do do that. I know I do. Do I recommend this book? Hell yeah, I recommend this book. This book blew me away. The way she wrote it, the way she executed it, everything about it was just, it's a really great story. And it's, like I said, it's been a long time since I've, since I have uh, read a book that just makes me connect so well with the characters and make me love the, both the protagonist and the love interest so much that I'm rooting and fighting right along with them. It's a great book and I highly recommend it. And thanks for watching!